are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, as you guys already know, Brooklyn Nets guard Kyrie Irving is suspended for a minimum of five games for what the Nets deem promoting an anti-Semitic film. Now, I did a video yesterday and I touched on one particular thing in that video there is that the the documentary Hebrew to Negroes Wake Up Black America is actually on Amazon Prime Video. But Kyrie Irving has come under fire for not even saying anything um, anti-Semitic. He actually even said that he didn't agree with everything in the documentary. Now, me, myself, I have not seen the documentary. Don't plan to anyway. Uh, For one thing, folks, the price on Amazon Prime, pretty expensive, by the way. But I'll get into that here in a second. The media has been crushing Kyrie Irving. The NBA, the Nets, crushing Kyrie Irving. However, it's on a platform where one of the richest people in the world is actually making a profit off of this film. And that's Jeff Bezos. Well, finally, folks, somebody does call him out on this. So let's dive into this article over here on OutKick. Amazon gets passed while Kyrie Irving gets buried for Hebrew to Negroes. And this is Bobby Burrack over here on OutKick. The Brooklyn Nets suspended guard Kyrie Irving without pay and for at least five games for tweeting, tweeting out an Amazon link last week to the film Hebrews to Negroes. Wake Up Black America, the film is based on the 2015 book of the same name that shares ideas aligned with black Hebrew Israelites. And by the way, folks, the book is also available on Amazon. Uh, The Nets waited uh, six days to punish Irving for posting a senseless tweet. He didn't say anything anti-Semitic in the tweet. Pressure from both the sports and news media forced the team's hand. The media demanded Irving's suspension and apology. But notice where the past has applied no such pressure towards the company behind the link Irving shared. Amazon continues to profit from the film and book as the outrage over Irving ensues. Right here on Amazon, as you can see, you can actually rent it right now for $11.99, but you got to pay $50 to buy it. This is on Jeff Bezos's platform. And there seems to be no outrage whatsoever about this actually being on Amazon. But it goes on, it says here, the ESPN reporter named Nick uh, Friedel, who chastised Irving in a press conference on Saturday, accused Irving of giving light to a film that stokes hate towards uh, Jewish people. First take host Molly Kiram subsequently said, It's never okay to share a film complimentary to Hitler. Yet here's Amazon enabling users to share, consume and revere the beliefs in which Irving's critics all dangerously call anti-Semitic. One can purchase Hebrews to Negroes series today, including two titles that rank among Amazon's bestsellers. And look at this, folks. Um, You can see it gets like four and a half stars out of five right here. You can get it on Audible book for free if you I believe if you actually do have um, Audible right there. Yeah, it's all over Amazon. Now, check this out. Former NBA player Jay Williams is the only notable media member to thus far question the uh, desperate uh, coverage between Irvin's tweet and Amazon's sale of the film. This is what he said, quote, where is that same attention and energy for the platform that is promoting it? and profiting off of it, Williams asked on Wednesday on ESPN. I don't hear any of that talk about Jeff Jeff Bezos and Amazon. I hear everybody skewing that anger towards Irving, Kyrie Irving, for taking a picture of it and tweeting about it. Why is it on a major platform? Why is a major platform amplifying it? Williams continued. Quote, Kyrie amplified it to 14.7 million people. But the platform is profiting and promoting it to billions of people. Kyrie Irving deserves a lot of heat. Uh, Then put the heat towards something where it deserves to. And that's on the platform. And I feel like 
that whole thing is being missed here. Yeah. Now, like I said, I don't know much about the documentary whatsoever. I'm not into the black Hebrew Israelites beliefs. I don't roll like that. I mean, I'm black myself and I actually had my DNA tested. I'm not um, I'm not Jewish. I'm just not. Irvin's interest in the film uh, cost him his paycheck, part of his season and perhaps future employment. Meanwhile, the outraged crowd has dismissed Amazon executive chairman Jeff Bezos for capitalizing on and proliferating what the critics of Irvin deem a threatening piece of anti-Semitic literature. And still, some would declare Irvin's punishment as inefficient. On Friday, MSNBC host uh, Joe Scarborough demanded Irvin's business partners sever ties with the basketball player immediately. Of course, you know, the cancel culture mob is going to go out there and do that. But yet and still, nobody's calling for the cancellation of Amazon, where this documentary is available. Kyrie Irving, you don't have to believe what he believes, but he didn't actually come out and say anything anti-Semitic. He just tweeted out the link to um, the documentary. That was pretty much it. And the media kept pressuring him and pressuring him to basically say, hey, I'm anti-Semitic. That's what they wanted from him, or at least apologize for sharing the link. But he didn't do it. He refused to do it. But now he's actually done it. But um, also, by the way, that's not enough for uh, the Nets. They demand more from him before he actually gets to come back, even though he has now apologized. They also now want him to go out there and meet with um, um, some people in the Jewish community or something like that. And then it could actually be, you know, be longer. It could be shorter. I'm not really sure. But the last few years for Kyrie Irving, man, he has been pretty much public enemy number one in the NBA because he will not uh, bend the knee to what the NBA wanted him to do, you know, getting a vaccine, that kind of thing. And um, he's he's definitely a free thinker, whether you agree with him or not. But Kyrie Irving is going to do what he wants to do. He's going to believe what he wants to believe. But even though the man said he didn't agree with everything in the documentary, that wasn't enough. He had to get canceled. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.